Rafa Custom Baits brings us new colors in the Joey Shad. Daiwa releases a brand new Steez A. And new Bento Box subscriptions open up, plus Bassmaster release special runs from Mega Bass. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined once again this fine Sunday morning by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeff, long time no see. Yeah, you, um, I forgot you worked here for a second. I forgot you worked here for yeah, a second. Crazy. You went to Japan, yeah. I went and hung with my family. I know you probably came back a new man, so you're ready for this now. Why is it so big? Well, because you gotta catch up. Jesus. You drinking? That thing is massive. It's Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning. In Japan, and it's uh, oh, darn, I don't have it's a... evening. That's right. So yes, I'm still on that time. Yeah, you can drink. Yeah, I just don't have a bottle opener, which sucks. So I'm just going to put this to the side. You want Thank a can? Thank you, man. That sucks. I would totally would have drinking, mm -hmm. you know. Here. That's oh, too late now. No, no, no. You said it's, if I had a bottle opener. Late. Look at that. No. Bottle opener. You, um, are you a liar? A hundred percent. I was feeling it in that one second you handed it to me, and then you, you know what? The I liked you better when you were in Japan. You know why? <laughs> why? Because yes, tell me. My imagination allowed me to think that you actually were a fun guy. Oh, really? Your yeah. imagination went that far? Yeah, I was thinking like, ah, oh, he's drinking. You know, he's found his Asian workout chick. Yeah. Like yeah. he's living the life. Oh. You know, and then back to reality. Yeah, reality. Huh? yeah. the real Jeff is. Kind of a dud. You know, this time when I went to Japan, yeah, I didn't have a single beer. <laughs> I tried to order a soda one or no, I tried to order a water. So disappointed. One of the nights, and they were yeah. like, "No, you can't order just water. You have to have something." So I was like, "Oh darn!" So I had to order a soda. A soda. Yeah, I and it see. was not good. Well, Jeff, you're a loser. I to see. all my friends out there, happy Sunday morning. Cheers. It's good to be back. I'm a little rusty. Been gone a couple weeks. Griff held down he everything did. for me. He knocked it out of the park. Yep. So thank you guys for being kind to him. Thank you for all the amazing comments. To all of you that said I should retire and Griff should uh, take over. We <laughs> see you. We see you. Mm -hmm. I see how we are now. This is the basis we've That's gotten it. to. I see. <laughs> All right, let's jump in, shall we? Just, All kinds yeah. of things. So many limited run things that are gonna sell out like this and people are gonna hate my guts, but hey, it's just that week. Crazy, right? Okay, no. I can't control it, it is what it is. So, let's start with something that I can control. Okay. Okay, that are probably already gone. If you guys, again, say it all the time, make sure you follow us on Instagram, make sure you follow me, it's why we put it down there. We are releasing the open spots to the bento box subscription program now every month we do a subscription this is the tackle otaku's jdm bento box every month i send these out it has a limited edition 110 a limited edition pop max and some other goodies in there it is a 105 dollar box that's right it's a little bit different if you tuned in to the live stream last night then you know why it went out and how things are uh, improving I will say this year if you are interested and there's any left jump on right now this is your chance to get on it will be the only time this year that we're opening up spots okay so if you want to jump into the program get a limited edition 110 of pop max and some other dope baits that I personally pick uh, this is a great way to do it 
hop on over. The link is right there. It's the first link in the description. Grab it. You will be a part of the program and some amazing stuff coming. Okay? So, there you go. I already hate your guts. Oh. No. I missed out. Yeah. Mutual. <laughs> Water drinker. Fucking bots. I don't even know what to say. You're so disappointing. Let's jump over to the Bassmasters Classic. Limited releases from Mega Bass. Now look, trust me, I ordered 10,000 of every one of these. Yeah, you got at least 10, I got 000. what I got, oh. right? I have no control over this, okay. right? Mega Bass didn't make enough oh. of these. I know they didn't make enough. They're gonna sell out instantly. Mm. There is a special classic release, Fine Art 110 and three mag drafts, okay? When they're gone, they're gone supposedly. Supposedly a one-time deal. They're probably already gone, okay? Here you go. Let's start right here with the classic release, Vision 110. You are looking at Fine Art Shireo. Now I'll take it out. Probably shouldn't even bother. There's not that many of them. They're gonna be gone. But, just in case, and just because it's sexy, let's play. So Fine Art Shireo, this is a color that has been done in the Super Z. Uh, it was done in the X-Nanahan. And in the 110, it looks absolutely beautiful, right? So super sick. Again, we're limiting these to one per person because there's just not that many of them, okay? So fingers crossed that nobody goes to the Bassmasters Classic in Knoxville and Megabest just has a ton of baits left over and they have nothing to do but to send them to me and then I'll, obviously I'll bring you guys more. But for now, what I have is supposedly it. So hopefully you guys snatched one up and grabbed it. Happy shopping. And then three special edition, again, supposedly one time only. I hope it's not one time only. Uh, mag draft colors in the six inch mag draft drop as well. Okay. And again, I'm limiting it to one per person because there's just not enough to go around to everybody. Okay. So three colors. The first one is Ablet. Jeff, I know that this is a color that speaks to you because you're a big IU fan. Yeah, it's money. It's cash money. It's it might it might be the best color uh, in a mag draft I've ever seen. Really? It's fire, dude. That far. So yes. you like shiny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but color doesn't matter to you. I mean, it doesn't, but that's the best color. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Swim bait guys. All right, swim bait guy. All right, the next one is Ketabasu. Now, this is a color that was in the mag slow. It was pretty much the best selling color in the mag slow. This one's sick because there's already a baby bass, mm -hmm. like a nude bass. This is kind of a, even though it's Ketabasu, it's a shad pattern, yeah. right? It's kind of just like a Hasu, it's super sick. So if you guys are throwing albino pearl shad, which everybody is, that one's gonna speak to you. And then the third one is Aurora shad. Yeah. Basically, it looks like a clear, transparent albino pearl shad. That's mm -hmm. kind of what it is. Yeah. Okay. And instead of that red pearl, it's kind of a blue pearl. So it's kind of like a French pearl yeah, in a way. So. Okay. So super sick colors. Trust me. I wish I had palettes of all of these, but I don't. Okay. So they're going to evaporate out of here very quickly. So guys, please grab it. If you haven't grabbed already, uh, grab these, enjoy them, catch fish on it and drive mega bass crazy yes that they didn't make enough of mm -hmm. these let's do that <laughs> right let's put it back on them don't don't give me hate i got as many as they'd send me okay so there you go bassmasters classic releases from mega bass are available if there's any supply left also at the bassmasters classic now we launched these on friday for all of you guys that ordered thank you very much we appreciate the business it was mind-blowing so honestly thank you uh, very much. The brand new Sleeper Craw from Mega Bass has now officially launched. So here you go. Now, the majority of colors, I think they, they dropped 17 colors. All but a handful have sold out already. Okay, so we will do the best we can to get more as fast as we can for all of you that uh, either didn't get some or that you bought one. I don't know what you're gonna do with one jig, but you know, hey, I hope you catch a bunch of fish on that one, and then you know, hopefully we'll get some more back in quickly, right? So just in case you've been living under a rock like a real crawdad, mm -hmm. here is the sleeper crawl up close and personal. Now, CJ and I filmed a video yesterday on this thing that we'll drop this week, talking about how to fish it, 
uh, how to use it. Jeff, I know you were fishing it this week. Everybody here has been using it. Jeff, you and I, this would actually, this is a pretty funny story. Before we get to the sleeper craw, let's reminisce back two years ago. Two whole years ago. So two years ago, Mega Bass was going to launch this. They yeah. had the final version of the sleeper craw, and it's still very top secret. Mm. And they wanted me to come out to Michigan and fish with the final sample, Yeah. right? But because you weren't on their NDA contract yet, I see. they didn't want you seeing it. Remember this? Yeah. Good times. So what happened? I flew out to Michigan, got picked up in a beautiful SUV, driven up to Lake Huron. We caught some amazing fish. I mean, honestly, the single most epic day of smallmouth fishing in the history of my life, back to back. Like it was just retarded. 30 pound sacks just calling, right? On this dude. Jeff couldn't come because he didn't have his thing signed, right? So he had to come the next day. You want to tell a story? I don't really You still look like you're traumatized. <laughs> Into Flint, I, you get there, you rented a car, no rental cars. No rental cars. No rental cars. Because it was at the height of, there was no cars available yeah, in the world. Yeah, no cars, right? So I'm like, oh, I'll take an Uber. Every Uber dropped me. Yeah, because it was like three hours away yeah, from it, Flint. It, it, Right? It's quite a ways. Yeah. So then the final option, I took a Greyhound bus. Yes. That took you what? Eight hours. That took like eight hours five by Greyhound. Hours. <laughs> Bunch of tweakers. There was another option. I could have come and got you, but that literally when you called, you're like, bro, I am so screwed right now. I'm like, well, Jeff, that's, I'm catching five pounders sucks. every cast. Yeah. I'm not coming to get you. I don't no know way. what to say. No, <laughs> right. No way. Yeah. So, anyways. One of the best days of my life. Probably yeah. one of the worst of yours. One See, of the most... that should have driven you to drinking. Oh, one of the most what? <laughs> one of the most interesting days interesting. of my life. Because I'm on this... I'm on this bus. And I know I'm like... These guys are catching 30 pounds of smallmouth right now. Non-stop. And I'm on a... <laughs> there was three of us. There was me, Ryan, and Kobe. And dude, I can't tell you... I'm trying to take pictures. Kobe's trying to take pictures because maybe just wants the footage, right? And we're just throwing five pounders back, and this guy's. I mean, it was just fucking chaos. I bet you it was. It was. I bet you it was amazing. Yeah. That bus ride was also amazing. I bet it was. Yeah. Same. Same experience. Okay. So I'm not gonna dive too much into this because there's not a lot of them left, and we're going to do. Uh, or we already did the full breakdown where I'm going to dive through the whole thing. But just in case you guys uh, aren't familiar with this, Sleeper Craw is an elastomer style uh, craw designed with a harnessed weight and hook system, a lot like the Dark Sleeper or the Sleeper Gill. This is designed to be on the bottom. It's designed to kind of fall in this horizontal motion. It has these hollow claws that kind of have a kicking action and they kind of stand up. So as it moves, it has just a very natural crawfish uh, look it's going to be a little bit more snag resistance than a traditional jig because everything's integrated as it falls it's not creating that loud like hard knock that a lead or a tungsten head would usually create on the bottom so it's just a more natural profile you're gonna catch a gazillion fish on it Jeff you took it out to a little pond the other day yeah and they were choking it it was ridiculous so it doesn't matter I mean it could be a pond it could be a big lake Julius and CJ went to the Colorado River and filmed a thing and caught largemouth and smallmouth. We've thrown in the Great Lakes. So everywhere you are, they're gonna eat this thing. Enjoy it. Uh, again, 17 colors will be the official, or 18 colors will actually be official launch, but one of the colors got screwed up. No. So uh, there will eventually be 18. Uh, for now, there's I think four or five left. So go check it out. I think you guys are gonna love it. That is the Sleeper Craw from Mega Bass. By the way, while I'm on the Sleeper Craw, the question I'm getting a lot, and again, I'm gonna cover this in the video we dropped this week, is the rod. Okay, I can't emphasize enough that the, the right rod for this is the P5 Dark Sleeper or X Bites. One of those two is the right one. So even though it's 5 8 ounce, it's pretty light, right? So 5 8 ounce is the total weight. That Sleeper Crawl rod and the X Bites have that little precise movement, which is what you want on this thing. So just keep that in mind. Hey, Jeff, do you remember, do you remember what happened the day after the epic fishing when you were on your Greyhound? When you finally did make it to Michigan? Oh, when I finally showed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went fishing on beautiful Lake Huron. Mm -hmm. The fishing was kind of slow in the beginning. About middle of the day, 
um, some things fell into the water. Some things that, is in that, your entire camera setup on the tripod and everything. Maybe that. Yep. And then maybe my myself as well trying to get it. Uh huh. Yeah. That was, it was the like same twenty trip. degrees. That was the same trip. Yeah. Same trip. Same trip. Yeah. So you have a very long history of the sleeper crawl. Without me ever using. <laughs> <laughs> All these uh, bad memories that driving you to want to drink? <laughs> no. Okay. Actually, yeah, I don't. did drink on that trip. Well, you better have drunk on that trip. That was a miserable <laughs> trip for you. Because then the next day we left. That was literally your whole trip. Let's get back to some lures, shall we? This is like podcast level stuff. All right. Uh, some Mega Bass restocks and some new color drops. I know a lot of you guys are fans of this color. Uh, this is one of our best-selling colors. It's a super dope color. This is SBOB Shad in the EdoVision 110 and the 110 Silent. If you guys aren't familiar with SBOB Shad, uh, this is a color that is fully transparent. has a beautiful olive back, and when it flashes, it gives you just that little hit of that kind of reddish orange. It evaporates out of here every time we get it in. They never make enough. Uh, so just letting you guys know, those are back in stock. We also see a pretty good restock in some of the key colors in X Nanahan and X Nanahan Plus One, in, in, uh, including Kasumi Ito. Okay, so you're gonna start to see these trickle back through in stock now. This has been a super hot item. So as they come back in, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but if you've been waiting to pick them up, Kasumi Ito, can, can I even speak? I'm so excited that we talked about your train wreck of a trip. Uh, I don't I, even care anymore. Great. I just wanna drink beer. And you envision you <laughs> sinking into Lake Huron in all your Sims gear. Bye, Jeff and camera. Kasumi Ito is available now. All right. A few weeks ago, we brought a special release of 110 plus one saltwaters. Okay. So what was cool about this is that these are the slow sinking 110 plus one. Uh, it's designed for salt, but it's the same exact bait. It's just a slow sinking version. So in fresh water, if you guys are using forward facing sonar, you're trying to get the bait down to the fish, this is gonna be the one you're gonna want. A lot of the other saltwater baits sink really fast and they're hard to control the depth. This is a slow sinking, so you can really pinpoint and precisely do it. You can also fish it over some deeper structure. You can fish it a little bit more aggressive, so instead of longer pauses, you can move it much faster and it will maintain its depth. Okay, so freshwater, saltwater, uh, it's just a great bait. We got a bunch of new colors in it this week. So I'm gonna fly through these. So LZ to Girl Iwashi is in. One of my favorites, HT Cruising Green is in. That's a dope one. That sounds sick. GLX Akahira Iwashi, right? It's got glitter, you like glitter? Uh, I do like it's glitter. It's kind of the ablet of uh, that. PM Redhead. GG Redhead. One of my favorites, GG Dark Knight Red. That's just a sick one. Mm. And this time of the year, that one's gonna fly out of here. GG Iwashi, one of the more natural ones. And then a couple of crazy ones really designed for like surf fishing, but you know, use it for whatever you want. This is GLX Orange Chartreuse Candy and GLX Twin Pink Candy. Okay, so all of those are available while supplies last. I don't expect these to come back in stock anytime soon. So if you've been waiting or this is maybe on the radar, I would go ahead and grab those. Those are available now from Megabass. All right, while we are on saltwater jerk baits, a few new colors in the saltwater Kanata version. Okay, so these would be great for you guys fishing calico bass uh, or even some of you pike and musky guys that just want some brighter, bigger options. These might be uh, right up your alley. So GG Gold Lime Rainbow is new and in. GG Iwashi, that'd be a six striper color too. GG Akakin, I guess that's also a sick freshwater color. And GG Chartreuse Back Rainbow. Okay, so four colors and the Saltwater Kanata, those are in stock now as well. Back to freshwater, Jeff, drop this. Oh my God. You okay today? Oh dude, I'm like cracking out of my eye. <laughs> I think they laced it. All right, back to freshwater. Speaking of smallmouth and amazing smallmouth trips, these guys return. These are the special color Sight Chartreuse and Sight Killer Pink in the Spark Shad 
and a Hazadong Shad. So if you guys are stocking up, we grab the last of them. So this is it. When these are gone, they're gone probably for a while. It was several years in between stocking. So this is probably going to be it. Uh, so if you want to stock up or if you missed out, now is a great chance to grab those. We also see the full line of sleeper gills return. Okay, so if it is that season for you guys, like it is for us, all the key colors are back, including some of the harder to find, like perch and pumpkin seed and cichlid and all that kind of stuff. So all those return. And then the first time in a really long time for you trout guys, you BFS guys, we see a full restock this week of great hunting humpbacks. So all sizes. Okay, so this is their newest great hunting bait. They released it about a year and a half ago, flew out of here, got a restock, flew out of here, and then they just didn't make them anymore. Okay, so we've been out of a lot of colors, a lot of sizes. This is the chance to grab them, okay? Everything is back. So the 46, 51, 64, all the sizes are back, all the colors. These are great, like kind of faster sinking baits that have a real kind of wide movement to them. So you're gonna fish this kind of cast and retrieve. Great in current, great in rivers. Uh, if you're fishing still water, it's going to kind of have a pretty fast sink to it so you can get it down in there. You guys are going to catch a ton of fish on it. Comes with barbed hooks, which a lot of you guys requested over that Kishu Bushin, that wide, you know, barbless that come on the regular great hunting. But while we're talking about the regular great hunting, if you guys were waiting on the 50 flat side or the 45 flat side and fast sink and floating, those also are back. Okay, so flat sides, floating and sinking. Humpbacks, everything returns uh, in the great hunting line. Great week. If you're a trout guy, BFS guy, those are all back from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, and then finally to wrap up Mega Bass, uh, we see a big restock in Z1 and Z2 and Z3 Japan only colors. Okay, so I love you guys have been looking for that. Uh, killer pink color in the Z1 and Z2 crankbait, that returns. The Super Z3 sees a restock in a bunch of key colors, including Matt Tiger, uh, Ghost BBC, so on and so forth. So those all return. We also see a huge restock and a new color addition in the Mega Bass Eye by Eye Shad TX. We add in the color this week, Sexy Oyabu Shad. Okay, so this is kind of a, this has been in the line in the Type R and the Type 3. Uh, so it is now available in the TX as well. So the TX is the deepest diving version of the eye by eye shad. This is a quarter ounce bait that has an amazing weight transfer system. So it casts out, locks back in place. You can throw it on heavy gear, light gear, whatever you want. But the sexy Oyabo shad is just a, it's just a, well, it's sexy, right? So those are available. A lot of the other key colors like Kasumi Ito, Biwako Hiuo, so on and so forth, all return in the TX as well. Jeff, I'm feeling like you, I'm a liar. Oh. Back to the beer thing. I'm not gonna let that go. I see. You promised you were gonna drink and then I gave you a bottle opener. And well, you, you took too long out. with it, you know. Okay. Sewiches are also back. So all the key colors are returned. Everything is in stock. So we've been mm, out of mm. uh, Waka Ayu, been out of the fine art. Uh, wakasagi. So all those return if you're a sewage fan. This has been our hottest selling wake bait maybe ever. Uh, it's a multi-joint wake bait. It also has the adjustable lip where you can clip it in and out. So you can have it wake, you can have it dive, you can do different things. So those return. And then some Mega Bass soft goods are also back. So clear pouches return. The rapid bags return. The rapid bag is one that I use all the time. It's a very simple Take that, Jeff. Very simple waste pack. It's padded on the back with mesh. Uh, it's got a big single open compartment. You can put quite a few lunch boxes and stuff inside of there. So there's a camo color, there's a black color. So if you guys are looking for a good shore fishing option, those are also back from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to swim baits. Let's talk in your lane let's here go. for a minute. So shad glides are something that almost everybody in the country has put into their arsenal yeah. now at this point. Glide baits used to be such a like big bait specific mm -hmm. thing, yes. right? Where only like, oh, that's those are swim bait guys. Yeah. But now pretty much even tournament bass fishermen, you're seeing it in the elites and everything else, the shad glide has kind of changed that. Right? It's a little bit more downsized. It's a little easier to throw. They have great movement to it. And Rafa Custom Baits is a great small swim bait maker. He's making everything by hand. Every bait is made by hand, tuned by hand, painted by hand. I mean, this is a true 
you know, crafted bait and everyone is individual. So we've been working with him now. He released six colors for us uh, for this weekend. So I'm gonna walk through these with you. A couple of these you're gonna recognize and a couple of these are gonna be new. So this is his new olive shad color. Just a beautiful kind of dark green, beautiful shad glide. And by the way, these, if you're new to shad glides, these are something that you can throw out and just wind in and they're gonna have just that kind of real, you know, easy S movement, but these are super easy to manipulate. So a little rod twitch or a real twitch, and they're gonna kick out and you're gonna have this great gliding motion of a shad. You can cut it, you can move it fast. Really cool bait to get, okay? So there is the olive. We see a return of this guy. There's not a lot of this one, so if you guys missed out the last time, but this is the bone. Okay, so we see a return in that guy. I guess I could have taken these out of the boxes, so this was uh, a little bit easier. Yeah. See another new color, Apex Silver. So kind of a white and silver kind of color. Very Bonaire-esque, yeah. would you say? I would say so. Yep, so see that one. I really dig this guy. This is this is a dope one for like our water for this time of the year. This is Sexy Shad. Okay, so I like this one because it's super subtle. It's probably one of the better thread fin, small gizzard shad patterns. It's got that nice kind of olive green that fades to blue and then just a faint chartreuse on there. This one's super dope. If you guys are fishing like water that's not crystal, crystal clear, like what we have a lot of right now where it's kind of slightly stained to stain, this one's gonna be killer. So sexy shad. And we see another dope one. This is blueback. Okay, so again, another nice natural shad pattern. It could be a herring, it could be a lot of different things. Okay, so we got that one. And then finally we see a return. This was our fastest one to sell out last time. We see a return in Shiner, okay? So there you go, six colors from Rafa. We love working with them. We try to order as much as we can, but the reality is because they're made by hand, it's a slow turnaround process. That's why we only see drops maybe every quarter, every six months. So if you've been waiting on a dope Shad Glide, this is the week to get them. The Joey Shad, available now. All right, a brand new USA release from Daiwa Japan. This is one that I've been super stoked about. Uh, we have gotten the Japan version. I said Daiwa Japan, but this is Daiwa USA Thank releasing you. this. Yep, sorry about that, but here you go. Steez A, the new version of Steez A. Steez A2, if you are in Japan, Steez A2 Wing 100, if you are in the USA, however you wanna look at it, it is the new and updated version of probably my favorite reel ever. Here you go. Here is a look at it. Now, we did a breakdown last week, posted it, where uh, we got our hands on it, gave you guys some thoughts, specced the whole thing out. I'm gonna break it down very simply for you. It basically maintains that same Steez A body, slightly different shape, but internally, you have the new hyperdrive system. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to the hyperdrive system, when like the Steez Limited came out, the Zillion, so on and so forth, it makes a huge difference when you are casting lighter baits and into the wind. If you're just chucking and winding crankbaits, chatterbaits, that kind of stuff, the Steez A was unbelievable. Like Jeff and I were kind of joking around when I asked you what you thought of this compared to the old ones you've been using it this week. Right. And you're like, well, the old one was so good, Yeah. right? And it really was, like I've never maintained them. I've never, I've just beaten the dog piss out of them mm -hmm. and they keep going. This one will allow you to throw some lighter stuff and into the wind a little bit better. And it's just, it's more sophisticated. It's smoother, it's got the newer stuff in it, which is cool. Now, the difference between the USA version and the Japan version is pretty much just the spool. So the Japan version is kind of a shallow spool. The USA version is gonna come with a deeper spool. So it holds 110 yards of 16 pound, 90 yards of 20. So you can throw heavier line on it, which is great. That was the one biggest problem uh, with, I mean, not was, it's kind of the biggest problem with reels is they get smaller and more compact. I like throwing 20 pound, right? And there's just not enough room on them. So they gave us the deeper spool, which is fantastic. So thank you, Daiwa, for doing that. So if you guys are Daiwa fans, you're gonna love this. There's righties and lefties, two gear ratios. There's a seven one to one and an eight five to one, which is interesting, right? So previously, Steez A's have only been offered in the USA in a six to one, a seven to one. And to get the eight, you had to 
get it in Japan. Now, in USA, they're offering a seven one to one and an eight five to one, which is dope because we needed that eight to one for the bottom contact. So if you're trying to figure out which one to get, if you guys are throwing jigs, worms, anything on the bottom, get the eight. If you're throwing frogs, if you're pitching, anything like that, get the eight. If you're throwing reaction bait stuff, chatter baits, crank baits, square bills, that kind of stuff, get the seven. That's the easiest way to figure it out, if that makes sense, okay? So, stoked to finally get these in your hand, made in Japan, all the latest, greatest stuff, the new Stize from Daiwa. Those are available right now. Okay, also launching this weekend at the Bassmasters Classic is a new spinning reel. Maybe I should have started with this and gone up, but that's okay. Hard to get too excited over its Tula when we just talked about Stize, a, but there is a brand new Tatula. This is the Tatula MQ LT2500. So basically, Daiwa has taken their monocoque design and carried it down. This is pretty normal for Daiwa where they start it in the high end and they continue to just bring it uh, through all of their reels. So now Tatula gets the new monocoque. It has a pretty smooth drag. I mean, it's pretty butter smooth for feel. Get the new design so just an all-around upgraded version of the tatula it's going to be a nice addition to the lineup so those drop this weekend as well that's the tatula mqlt from daiwa all right and then going back towards bougie okay a brand new saltiga hits the market as well uh from daiwa this is the new saltiga we brought it in the 4000 and the 5000 XH. Now, Jeff, you looked at these earlier and you're like, why the hell do we have Saltigas, right? Now, we have mm. been selling gazillions of Mega Bass Kukai rods. Yep. Okay. More and more guys are getting into that kind of crossover fishing from bass to saltwater, whether it's surf, whether it's bay, whether it's light duty, offshore, right? It's just, it's fun. So more and more of our customers have been doing it. We've been doing it. So I figured why not expand? We'll just bring some of these in. And if you guys have been looking for it, uh, this is basically the exist of salt water. Okay, you're at 950 bucks for a reel, right? So super expensive, but just super amazing. Okay, so if you're looking for the ultimate, that's a 4,000, by the way, in the Kukai. It just feels so sick, right? So this might be my new drop shot mm -hmm. setup. Yeah, maybe Oka Shear screw head. What do you think? <laughs> Oka Shear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I said I like I like twenty pound. I'd say an A rig of Oka Shear screw head. Mm. And then I could, could probably put a hundred of them on there. And then you could troll it for Marlin. Yeah, that'd be sick. So there you go, guys. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, fishing a little heavier stuff than what traditional bass guys are. Uh, wanted to make sure that I include you in, or maybe you're just looking to upgrade. I know, whatever you have on your Kukai now. So there you go, the brand new Saltiga from Daiwa drop as well this weekend. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Depths. We had a huge stocking week from Depths Japan this week. Some really hard to find things come back, some new colors, some expansions of some line. So I'm gonna just fly through this as fast as I can, okay? One of our favorite baits all around, but especially this time of the year, the Bull Flat returns now you and i both throw this me maybe a little more than you because you're a so. swim bait guy yep but this is still kind of cool in your book because mm -hmm. i see you reach for this yep. quite a bit what is it about the bull flat that you like i like the idea of it hmm. i like the concept of it the size of it's cool and it gets bit and it's something different it's not just your standard craw or worm it's like it's cool yeah and the way that it like floats down and like kind of glides it's fucking dope yeah, so if you guys are new to the bull flat, uh, it is designed to be a bluegill or panfish kind of profile. Now, it doesn't have to be, right? It can be a shad or whatever you want it to be, but designed as a bluegill profile, uh, you rig it like this, right? So as it falls, it kind of has this real subtle glide and you see it's got this kind of segmented tail that makes you think that this thing is gonna be like this pulsing, but it's not. It's super subtle, right? So it barely moves, which is what makes it so effective. One of the most popular baits in Japan. Uh, it's really become one of the most popular baits here as well. There's a bunch of sizes to this thing, okay? So the two inch is designed for drop shot, it's tiny, right? There is a three inch that is money. 
for a free rig. There is a 3.8, which is also money for a free rig. So if you guys are free rigging or fishing at kind of weightless or light Texas, these are the two sizes you're gonna to wanna to get, the three inch and the 3.8. I like the 3.8, a lot of guys like the three, because it's pretty small, right? Then it goes up to a 4.8, which is what I have in my hands, and there's a 5.8. You can certainly still free rig, fish these weightless, uh, but how we usually fish them is on like a beast style hook, even a weighted beast, and then you can kind of fish it by itself and just kind of pitch it around, let it sink down. You can kind of hop it and rip it and it kind of looks like a bluegill moving up and a bluegill gliding down. It's got a really dope look to it and the fish love it, okay? So all the key colors in all the key sizes return. I was just holding bluegill, right? So that one evaporates out of here. But the green pumpkins, right? The grapes, the watermelons, all those all return this week from Japan in the bull flat. Now, we are also adding something new to the bull flat. We are adding a bull flat non-salt. Now, this is one that's been offered in the 5.8, but it's never been offered in the smaller sizes. Depths now is going to be making this in the smaller sizes. So the 3.8 and the 3-inch now available in the non-salt. So, a couple things to talk about with the non-salt, okay? First off, because there's no salt, the colors are a little bit more transparent, right? They don't have all that salt in there, so you're gonna get a little bit more finesse out of the colors. You're, the light's gonna penetrate them a little bit differently, and there's some different colors that they can make in this bait because it is non-salt. Now, the biggest thing to know about the non-salt is if you guys are a free rigger, pay attention to this. Because it doesn't have salt, it's going to have a slower rate of fall. Okay, so it's still scented, it still smells, it still has all the same taste and flavor as the original, it's just not salted. So when that weight separates from your bait, instead of that bait kind of, you know, that salt kind of carrying that bait down, now the bait's gonna have more hang time, it's gonna have a slower rate of fall, you're just gonna get a little extra time of that bait sinking down slowly, which is super dope. Okay, so you free rig guys should absolutely love having this in your arsenal. That's new from Depths. That is the Depths non-salt bull flat available now. All right, some more new additions. One of the more interesting baits that Depths makes is a bait called the BM Hog. Now we sell out of these every time we bring these in. I'll take one out and I will show this to you. This is kind of a crazy little dude, but we add uh, three new colors in this this week. I'm gonna open one of these up and I'm gonna show this to you, just in case you're not familiar with this. Now this is a bait that's designed, uh, you can flip it, you can pitch it, you can Texas rig it, you can free rig it. Uh, a lot of guys use it as a jig trailer as well. Okay, so here is the bait. So here is basically the look of the bait. So you can see it's kind of like a stick style bait and it kind of has this segmented head. Now it has these huge massive claws. Right, so as this thing comes through the water, these claws are so big, they push so much water. This is one of the hardest water pushing baits really in the store. So if you're looking for something big and obnoxious to create a large presence underwater, uh, the BM Hog is a great option to use. And again, you can use it any of those ways that we just talked about. Uh, all the colors return, plus some new color additions in that, plus, we've added a new size, a new four inch size. So the one I just showed you is a five. So it's gonna be your traditional, normal five inch BM hog. There's now a new four inch BM hog as well. So if you guys wanna downsize your BM hog, let me open one of these up and I can show you side by side the difference. Uh, this one is going to be absolutely killer on the back of like a traditional jig that's gonna give you a, a big presence without being an obnoxiously big presence, okay? So there's the original, there's the four inch. You can see that one inch makes a huge difference all the way around, right? So great options. I think you guys are gonna catch a ton of fish on them if you implement them. That is the BM Hog, new colors, new sizes from Depths. All right, while we're on free rig, another great free rig bait from Depths Returns. This is the Depths Bull Slender. Now, a lot like the Bull Flat, uh, it's got that same kind of tail. It's a little bit more finessey, but it's a longer version. So where the Bull Flat is kind of shorter and bulky, this is more of a longer worm, so it's gonna have more of a glide uh, and more of just a longer profile. So another great option if you guys are free riggers, that's the Bull Slender. And then 
without question the most popular fluke style bait of the last year returns finally i know these have been gone for a long time but the depth sakamata shad comes back in force so all sizes four inch little tiny little guy there's a five inch there's a six inch there's a seven inch there's an eight inch right so whatever size you guys need these return uh they're available in all the colors so your pearl whites your you know reservoir shads your wakasagis everything is back in this guy i'm gonna open one up just in case you guys aren't familiar okay so i think by now everybody's familiar with a Sakamoto shad, but just in case you're not, this is kind of a dual plastic. It's heavier salt on the top uh, than the bottom, so it gives it a really nice shimmy as it falls. It has these stabilizer fins in the front that help it maintain a horizontal posture. When you twitch it, they also kind of give it that same kind of lip as a jerk bait where it kind of forces it side to side. But a lot of guys will use this like a skinny dipper as well, and they'll just throw it out there and wind it as fast as they can. That was a secret that Kenta taught us a couple years back that you can just burn it uh, like a swim bait, and that little stabilizer fin just keeps it a really, really tight natural motion. So for like your herring guys or anytime fish are boiling, that can be a great option as well. So fish it like a fluke, Carolina rig it, Texas rig it, free rig it, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but the Sakamata Shads, all sizes and colors are back. All right, staying on soft plastics from Depths, we also see a huge restock in the Death Hatters, four inch and five inch. I know we have been depleted on these. They're back, all the key colors. If you guys aren't throwing the Death Hatter now in your arsenal and you throw a chatterbait of any kind, you're missing out, okay? Now, these were designed to use as like a Neko rig. You could drop shot them, you can fish them like a Senko, but where these really shine for me personally is as a trailer on a jackhammer. So where most chatterbaits are real wide and you put a Zocco back there, you put a paddle tail back there, whatever, they're just real wide moving, right? You put a death hatter back there, it tightens it up. So it basically changes it from a wide wobbling crankbait to a tight crankbait, right? So a wide wobbling jackhammer to a tight jackhammer. This is kind of a secret, well, it's not really a secret, we've talked about it for a while, but this is kind of the main way they throw a blade jig in Japan is with this where the zako is kind of like the staple here the paddle tail the death adder is kind of the staple over there the other thing it does is because it's a tighter plastic it allows you to add a trailer hook to your jackhammer too if you want which can be key when they're short striking it or just barely nipping at it okay so an absolute staple and again all the main colors are in your whites your chartreuses your green pumpkins your blacks your dead shad so on and so forth so if you've been waiting on those those return as well all right I know a lot of you guys have been looking for depth headlock jigs. Uh, you've been beating me up to get these back in. This is a jig that all of us throw a ton of. They're finally making them again, so they're starting to trickle in, okay? So this week, we see some restock in the smaller sizes, like quarter, three eighths and a half, uh, but really the five eighths and three quarters specifically is back. So if you guys are looking for a heavier football jig, this would be a great week to scoop them up. What's great about the headlock is it's a super compact jig with no weed guard and more of like a circle hook style. So the hookup and land ratio on a headlock is better than any jig that I, I throw. Okay, so the only time it sucks to throw a headlock is when there's wood because you're gonna snag every piece of wood, right? But if you're fishing rock, you're fishing sand, you're fishing that kind of stuff, the headlock's a no-brainer. Uh, it just, it lands pretty much everything that bites it. So those return from depths as well. All right, let's fly through some depths hard baits really quick. We've been talking about the Evoke quite a bit. I, I think if, if I can only choose one square bill, it's probably the Evoke. Yeah, it's the best cover deflection square bill I've ever seen. Uh, so we see some Japan only colors returning this in the Evoke 1.2 and 2.0. Not a lot, they didn't have a lot of inventory. I grabbed everything they had. Uh, but if you guys are square bill fans or Evoke fans and any of these colors speak to you, this would be a great time uh, to scoop those up. Anywhere from reds to bluegills to horizon shads, those return this week from Depths Japan. I think last week, you guys talked about the bull shooter float. Yeah. Does that sound right? Yep. So this week they re-released the bull shooter slow sink. Okay, so I won't spend a lot of time on this because I know you guys talked about it last week, but this is just an amazing bluegill glide. Uh, Jeff, you've been throwing this glide for ages. Yeah, for a long time. Would you say it's, I mean, by bluegill glide bait standards, where would you put this bait? I mean, it was basically like the godfather of them. Back 
you know, a decade ago, that was really the only one that was made that was really well yeah. done. So, yeah. and it still holds up today. It's just, I feel like over here, guys go more towards like the slide swimmer. Yeah. While I've noticed the Japanese guys, they like the bull shooter more than they like the um, the slide. The slide swimmer. swimmer. Yeah. So it's very interesting it's, it's to see interesting the dynamic. It's interesting dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean, you and I have spent a ton of time in Japanese tackle stores. Yeah. Like be wall with guys. Bull shooters everywhere. Bull shooters really is kind of the main yeah. thing, mm -hmm. but bluegills are really kind of the main forage for those guys yeah where they fish it around yeah for sure so if you guys find yourself in a similar position you know maybe you're fishing around more you know bluegill eaters yeah uh sunfish eaters you know that kind of stuff this might play that's perfect size too. yeah it's yeah. money right so it's 160 millimeters it's three and a half ounces that's so it. it's a pretty yeah. light glide bait you can throw it very easily oh yeah uh, but this gives you the slow sinking version so you can just tie it on out of the box and go so all the colors uh, return in that this week from depths. All right, while we are on glide baits, kind of the going the opposite direction, the smallest little slide swimmer, the 115, also returns in a lot of the key Japan colors. So like Wakasagi, Flash Carp, Inako, what else you got here? I got the Rainbow, I got the Yamame, right? So all of those return this week. Uh, this is a really kind of finessey uh, three quarter ounce glide. It's super easy. I say glide, it can glide, you really got to work it, but really you just cast and wind it. Yeah. Like this is kind of, if you want to start playing in baits that are just a little bit bigger than a traditional jerkbait, crankbait, this would be a really easy one to use. You just cast it and retrieve. Yeah, it's and it really looks good it. on a retrieve. Yeah, so I mean, there's not much to it. It's a slow sink, you throw it out there, you wind it in, and it just has a real natural movement to it. Uh, and the fish smoke it. So there you go, 115s from Depths uh, return this week in all the Japan colors. All right, and then finally, uh, to end at Depths for now, I got a couple of rods to mm. talk about that are new that are pretty exciting. I would say one of the more interesting topwater baits on the market also returns. So a huge restock, plus we see some new color additions in the Depths Buzz Jet and Buzz Jet Junior. Okay, so here's the Buzz Jet. This is a full size, 96 millimeters, 30 grams. So basically a one ounce top water. You basically have a crankbait lip and a prop and you just wind it on the surface. It's pretty simple. Throw it out there, wind it, maybe a rod tip up nice and slow and the bait just kind of moves like this and swishes and it kind of like a Buzz Bait crankbait hybrid. Okay, so some really dope colors that we haven't had before. Some Fire Tigers restock of all the key like bluegill colors. And then also in the juniors, we see a return in a lot of key colors, including all of the bluegills, baby basses, that kind of stuff. So timely restock uh, and some timely new colors uh, from depths. By the way, the junior is 72 millimeters and 14 grams, so a half ounce. Okay, so depending on which size you want to go. So all that returns from depths. All right, staying on the swim bait idea, uh, Jeff, I see you smiling and laughing because this is <laughs> this has always been one of the craziest baits in the shop uh but they did another batch so manifold mm. is one of those companies in japan they make beautiful purses wallets yes. like really amazing stuff mm -hmm. and they're famous for making their horse leather swim bait yeah right the de niro the you know all that kind yes. of good stuff right but they also make the castellanon which has always been one of our favorite baits because it's just kind of like a frankenstein project it's a crazy bluegill profile bait. wild it's wild. Uh, it's five inches, it's two ounces. We restocked all the key colors and we see some new colors. So in case you wanted something shiny, <laughs> yeah. instead of something like subtle, we've got you. Jeez. Okay, so we see lots of flash this week, right? Uh, but the Castellanon, if this is new to you, it's been a while since we've talked about the Castellanon, right? I'm just gonna take one out so you guys can see it. It is an amazing swimming, little swim bait. It is, it's wild swimming. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, it is definitely kind of a crazy science project looking thing. Now, when you talk to, uh, you know, the creator, the reason for all these different segments is he wanted a bait that can, each piece could kind of independently move and swim to create a motion that looked different than just one 
body moving, right? And that's the idea behind these different pieces moving. And then when you see it swim, it definitely has a unique action. There's two different rigging holes, so you can have different actions to it. There's also a little chin uh, clip there that you can put away if you want to sink it down a little bit deeper. But uh, I know a lot of you guys have been, you know, interested in this bait. And we just haven't had a lot of them on the shelf. So this would be a good week to go browse through, take a look. Uh, and if it's of interest to you, maybe give it a shot. I think you would have a lot of fun. Everybody here really enjoys using it. It's one of those baits that's just fun to use and it looks amazing hanging out of the fish's mouth. Uh, and they do eat it pretty well. So it's going to be a surface to slightly subsurface, right? So you're really gonna kind of stay up on top of the water, but that's the Castellanon from Manifold. Those are back. We also have been getting a lot of requests to bring back YGK lines, okay? So we kind of let them go away, and then a lot of you guys have been asking for them to come back. So we listened, we brought them back. So if you guys are fans of YGK braid, uh, everything is back in stock, all sizes, uh, all braids. Uh, return. So the G-Soul is back. Uh, the X-Braid O-Dragon, that's their sinking braid, is back. The X-Braid Upgrade, the H-Strand, is back. So uh, take a look through them. You can read through them and see what would be best for your line. One thing I will tell you, if you guys are tying the FG knot, this is an amazing line. But it really needs that FG knot to hold the, the leader uh, and line. It's super slick and it's very thin compared to other lines. So don't think you're gonna tie a uni to uni in Alberto and just be good to go. I mean, some of you might, my experience has been it needs the FG. Okay, so just a little preference there, but check it out. They, YGK makes amazing lines. Hopefully you guys will be happy that you see those back. All right, and one more thing before we jump over to Rods, Jeff. There is a company out of Japan called G7. Now we've carried G7 for years, but we've really only offered it in store uh, because we get it, we sell out, it's never really been available in a high enough supply here for us to throw it online because we sell so much of it. But we finally got them to do a huge batch. Uh, so we threw it online and now it will be available uh, on the website as well. So G7 makes amazing kind of wacky rig style things and some nail weights, okay? So probably the best like tube and wacky rig system out there. They make these pliers that, and a lot of companies make pliers like this now. Okay, so basically you get whatever wacky rib tube that you want and they're in different sizes. So depending on the size of the worm that you guys are using, uh, it's all specced out there. So you can grab whatever size you want to use. You very simply just insert it on that there. You insert your worm in there and you spread. You put your worm in there, right? Pull it back, drop it on there. It pulls out and you're good to go. Okay, so a super easy, handy way to do it. Uh, what's cool about G7 is their tubes are very strong, pliers are very easy, but they also make these in different colors. So if you want a clear, if you want a green, if you want a red, they're available like that. They're available in bulk packs as well. So all those are available. They also make great tungsten nails that screw in, okay? So they're going to kind of sit on the outside of the worm a little bit and give you a little bit of a sound. Okay, so if you guys are after that style tungsten nail, these are great options as well. So all that is available now from G7. All right, Jeff, and let's wrap it with a few rods. So I'm gonna start right here with depths. We've got a couple new rods to talk about from depths. So one of my favorite lines of any rod, period, is the depths gain element line of rods. Now this is an amazing line of rods. It's light, it's completely functional, beautifully sensitive and priced, I would say, kind of mid-range. So there's not a lot of crazy JDM bells and whistles to it. It's just a solid like workhorse of a rod, okay? And it's a real small lineup of rods, so it doesn't get a lot of traction uh, or notice like, you know, a Levante or a Steez or an NRX, right? Because there's only a handful of models. But the models they make are amazing. And now they have added a new cover game element. So this is a 6'8", medium heavy. Uh, it's 3 16 to one ounce lure rating. It's an amazing rod. It's nice and fast, but it's got a pretty light tip. So if you guys are looking for a rod to just kind of pitch a bait around, uh, skip a dock, it's gonna be an amazing dock skipping rod. This is definitely one to consider and maybe look at uh, adding to your arsenal. Those are available now. 
And then we also see two new models of the huge custom travel rods. Okay, there's a brand new four piece. This is a huge custom H2N77R. Okay, this is uh, designed to basically be, it's a four piece rod that fits in any suitcase, but you can throw anything from a walking top water bait to a big buzz bait to a slide summer 250 on it. Okay, so it's kind of designed to be that one all around rod. It comes with some balancers on it. So you can, depending on which reel you put on there or what bait, you can keep the balancers. You can unscrew it and take balancers off. So you can lighten it, you can make it heavier, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but it's got a nice, beautiful kind of, I would say a fairly parabolic taper. It's a little bit slower so it can handle that glide bait. It can handle a treble hook bait. Might be a real interesting one for you guys if you're a depth rod fan to add into your travel arsenal. They also re-released the 6.4 version of this rod. So this is a three piece redesigned for this year. So if you want a tiny, tiny little rod, I mean, you can see how small this rod is. This will fit in pretty much any suitcase. You've got a 6.4 version, you've got a 7.7 version. So you got a couple options there from depths in travel rods. And then finally, you know that I'm a sucker for uh, arms rods. All right, so we got a handful of arms rods back in stock. There are some casting rods. There's some new 7208s, uh, some 7206s in right hand and left hand grips. Uh, but we also got a couple of the spinnings back in stock, which a lot of you guys have been looking for. So I'll just kind of show this to you here. So beautiful matte carbon grip. The spinning, by the way, are not left hand or right hand. They're either way. Right, so they're just gonna fit right there. Uh, so there's just the one grip option on there. Dragons, of course. Uh, these are beautiful, you know, handmade rods that they custom build for us each month. Uh, so if you guys are looking for just the ultimate spinning, the 7003 spin in arms available while supplies last. All right, Jeff, that is a wrap. There it is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. It was well, a good week to come back. Welcome too. back, man. Yes. You came back to some good stuff. Cheers, my friends. I think that was a pretty dope week. I I'd mean, say so. obviously I wish I had 9 million of all those limited edition things, you know. <laughs> maybe one day. Do? Yeah, maybe I should just buy the Mega Bass factory and just ah, make as much as everybody needs. I like this idea. That would be super dope, wouldn't it? So guys, if you have any questions on anything that we covered, drop it down below. I will definitely get answers for you. Jeff will leave links to everything uh, if you'd like to check them out. On behalf of myself and Jeff and Griffin, everybody here at the Hookup Tackle guys, Thank you for your business. Thank you for giving us time on your Sunday mornings. Thank you to those of you who drink with me, unlike boring dude over there. You. I don't know if loser is really the right word. Ooh, I've upgraded. I don't know. It's kind of really sitting there, though, on the tip of my tongue. I'm going to have to think about okay. this. Yeah, you need a new title. Oh, perfect. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Have an amazing weekend. Super excited to see who wins the Bassmasters Classic this afternoon. Who knows where it's going to go. I got my money on Gus. But we'll see what happens. So cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Go hug your family. Catch a bunch of fish. Hit me with questions. We'll see you next week. Peace.